Hi everyone, it's Latrice with Beauty and Purpose. I just wanted to log on really quick before I hit the gym. It, I am in Baltimore. I am excited. I said I was going to document this whole week and you will see some posts on the blog and YouTube channel. But my theme this year, as y'all know, is Big Faith. Um, I wanted to just come on really quick and be transparent, share where I am. It's been an emotional morning. Um, my husband, we drove down about a couple of days ago and he helped me get set up. I love that man, y'all. Um, but he left today and I will be very honest that I broke down <laughs> because this is something, you know, I, I share with you all, I'm going to be transparent that this is faith, you know, in action. And so I want other women to see me. Um, I, I, I want you to know that I am trusting God. And when I say big faith, what that means is my only source is Christ. My husband can't do it. My mom can't do it. My children can't do it. It's just me and Jesus. And so what a majority, and we are the majority. So I don't say it like it's just him, but y'all, I'm so excited. Um, I'm here for the International Women's um, Convention through Kojic and i will be launching beauty and purpose officially um i found out the podcast has been accepted and um i have the t-shirts and everything out and then bundled with blessings is out with our wigs and so i'm just excited about doing some new things and just stepping out on faith right just doing what god has told me to do with no hesitation um it's not always easy it is a faith walk but y'all, I wouldn't, I don't know how to act, but to just trust him. You know, this is what my life is about. I told God, I want to go deeper with him and deeper means just that it's seeking his face. It's trusting him. It's walking by faith and knowing that he is faithful. And so I just wanted to log on really quick. I'm not going to make it really, really long, but I just wanted to share that this is, um, the, the, the convention starts tomorrow. So we got set up. I'll send some pictures from the booth on tomorrow. I'm getting ready to, I still got some errands to run and working on flyers and other stuff. A couple of wigs to curl. I, look, this is what it's all about. I'm missing my babies. I'm away from my babies, but I thank God for a husband. And let me just put this plug in really quick. Um, you all know I, I talk a lot about walking by faith and trusting God and giving him your life. Um, but I just want to put this plug in to say, if you said why waiting on God is so important, I want to thank God live for my husband because if there's nothing else that I could share with maybe a young lady or women or whomever you are, you might be saying, Latrice, you know, it's so easy for you to say, wait on God. You have a husband. You, you have what I want. But I want to share something that my mom told me. And my mom, I remember saying, you know, Therese, write out and give God what you want in a, in a husband. The same way you run your mouth on your phone and you're talking to your girlfriends. Talk to God. Allow him to lead you in the mate. And so, y'all, I want to just really quick. I know this is so far from the conference and all of that. But I remember at 19 writing a letter to God, telling God what I wanted in a mate and what I wanted in a boyfriend, because see, I had did it my way. I was trying to date people and go in and out and find y'all a hot mess. You hear me? But I remember saying, God, you know, I'm not going to just give you my life as in ex ask you to come in my life, but then I take everything else on. What is that? That ain't giving you my life. I said, so this dating thing, you can have it. I want you to bring me who you want. And I want you to know that when you ask God something, you've got to trust them, y'all, because he's, you're going to take a test with those words. He going to send some, some people, you, well, he won't, but some people going to come your way and he going to test. Do you really mean that you'll wait? Even if it means, say, all your friends getting married and you go into wedding after wedding and everybody may be dating or finding that one or getting engaged, but you still alone. But you said you were going to wait on me. You're going to take a test. And y'all, I remember taking that test, but I said, nope, they not saved. And I said, I was waiting on you. I said all that to make a long story short. A man named Javier Bartley was at my church and I know this sound deep. 
but I have given the same testimony consistently and he can tell you I'm telling the truth my attraction to my husband initially was the God in him I never forget seeing that man over the choir stand jumping for Jesus and shabby he was praising hard I said Lord I ain't never seen a man love God like this and I said that's what I want well little did I know you know he got sweet on me and all of that but anyway my um relationship with javier started and we dated for five years um he proposed and we got married we were very young i was in college he was in nursing school but my point to the whole story is y'all it's nothing like being happily married it's nothing like rushing to get home to your husband it's nothing like serving a man who will pray over you who will encourage you y'all my husband worked so hard but he didn't want me to drive up here by myself so he literally drove me all the way here would not let me drive i tried to take over it was rough y'all but he drove me up here, helped me get set up, and he got on the flight um, today to leave. But I said all that to say, I'm, I'm stepping out on big faith, but I got big love because there's a man who covered me. He's a priest. And so it's so easy to submit and, and humble to a guy who's humble to God first. And so I wanted to put that plug in because if you said, Latrice, why is it so important to wait? Y'all, you don't want what you want. You want what God wants for you. You want the help, the man who will love you. It doesn't mean that it's perfect, but I know that he covers me. He prays for me. And I'm so thankful for that man called Javier Bartlett, who's my husband. So they ain't got nothing to do with the convention. But I just wanted to tell you, y'all, I don't care how long you single. And let me say this. I took a test. When I made that request to God, I was single for a year and a, two years. I didn't date. I mean it um but God brought me the best in my husband and he is so awesome and so I say wait because you want God's best y'all you don't want what you think don't compromise I don't care if they got seven of the ten if it ain't the ten you write your list and give it to God and watch that he will not be faithful to do what you ask okay so that's the side street but anyway I just wanted to say I'm here in Baltimore and I just want to leave you real quick. Y'all know me. I always say quick. It ain't nothing quick about me. I'm sorry. But um, I wanted to leave you. I was in my room. I'm going to be honest. I was emotional. Um, my husband left. And I said, oh, Lord, I'm really out here by myself now. Nah. But y'all, I feel so strong because it's not about me. All I can say is I know that God is working something in me. And so I just keep telling the Lord, I decrease so that you can increase. But this is the scripture that he gave me. And I have to start with the first verse because I like so many when you're starting a business it's nobody but you you know and, and not so much nobody but you of course my family is supporting me but I'm out here in Baltimore by myself y'all you know my husband left to go back and take care of the kids which is a blessing but it's something about just trusting him you know but I know he's gonna do something I can't explain it y'all my spirit is just leaping on the inside because it's not even about sales it's about souls I know that God is gonna do something in that booth in Baltimore so I want to read you what the Lord had me I got back to my hotel and I just began to cry out and just give God praise because even when I'm weak I want him to know that I I know he's gonna do great things so this is what he gave me I want to share it with you it is Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 and verse 8 and verse 6 says be strong and courageous do not be afraid or tremble in dread before them for it is the Lord your God who who goes with you he will not fail you or abandon you God y'all what a promise and then the next verse 8 says it is the Lord who goes before you he will be with you he will not fail you or abandon you do not fear or be dismayed so let me tell you after that I'm about to get on this treadmill and run these miles I'm facing to go do these errands and y'all I am encouraged so listen I'm gonna be checking back in this is Latrice in Baltimore big faith just out here trusting God y'all did y'all hear that promise he said he will be with me he will not fail me or abandon me do not be feared or dismayed I'm feeling pretty good I will log on talk to you guys later love you bye